One of the strongest incentives is the profit motive. We are always looking to save money. We have found, blissfully enough, that in looking for ways to save money, aha, we can also save an immense amount of resources. We make our business more sustainable, we make our society more sustainable at the same time. Hi, I'm Matt Dugan and this is Action Item. For years, a lot of us have worked to do the right thing. But admit it, it was hard, it was expensive, and nobody really listened. If you're one of those people, Joe Fusco of Casella Way Systems has good news for you. Your time has arrived. Using less energy, becoming more sustainable, wasting less, is an economic imperative as well as an environmental imperative. The easiest way to reduce your carbon footprint and make money is use less energy. It's more than flicking the light switch off or buying CFLs. It's about an attitude. Is your business constantly, every day, seeking a mastery level of execution in the amount of energy that you're using? Are you constantly looking for ways to use less energy to become more efficient and effective in your processes, in your procedures, in your systems? Because if you're doing that, you're not only saving money, you're using less energy, you're reducing your carbon footprint, you're becoming more resource sustainable. For example, in our business, buy and operate trucks that are more energy efficient. They produce less of a carbon footprint, and we're spending less on fuel. It is a wonderful convergence of both economic and environmental interest. And it's more relevant than ever during these economic times. Surviving in a recession, what do you want to do? You want to, you want to cut your expenses. Um, probably one of the last expenses that you want to cut is, is people, is your intellectual capital. Um, and the way to do that is to become more uh, resource sustainable, for example. It makes perfect sense in a recession or in tough economic times to use less energy. It makes perfect sense in tough economic times or in a recession to become more efficient, to become more sustainable. It's good business as well as being socially responsible. So there's an economic payoff and there's a feel-good payoff. But as Joe explains, it's also about taking care of business. Now, while he's talking here specifically about the waste business, this message applies broadly. Do you want to compete with China for a scarce barrel of oil? Do you want to rely on your ability to win that competition to determine whether your business is going to have the resources that it needs? Or do you want to begin investing? Do you want to begin exploring in ways to find the resources more locally or in a more sustainable loop? right here at home. The things that we've traditionally thrown away that we would consider waste represent significant amounts of resources, both as energy, but as also raw materials as well. Saving money is making money. Saving resources is making resources. The best companies in the world are trying to figure that out. The best companies in the world are looking for opportunities to marry those two ideas. Because not only are you going to make a great business, but you're also going to contribute to society. Thanks to Joe Fusco of Casella Waste Systems. I'm Matt Dugan, and this is Action Item, tips you can use to build the world you envision. If you have a great idea you'd like to share, please get in touch with us.